latest arrival to our CM plugins collection is Barricade CM by Tone Boosters. It's an intelligent mastering grade peak limiter that has a beautifully transparent sound over individual tracks, buses and full mixes too. It's great for mastering. It uses two linked stages of limiting. One, a slightly more compression-based form of limiting and another that's more of a brick wall peak clipper. And it's got loads of other great features too. It's got peak metering, it's got RMS metering, and also K metering as well. And there's a really useful stereo link function so you can limit the left and right channels independently. So let's dive in and take a look. To show you how Barricade CM works, we're going to use it to apply some limiting to several parts of a track. Once the plugin's installed, open up a new project in your host software and set its BPM to 130. Then import the audio files from this month's tutorial files folder onto separate audio tracks. Barricade CM is a brick wall peak limiter, meaning that it reduces the loudest parts of a signal in as transparent a way as possible preventing the signal from ever exceeding a set threshold or out ceiling using an ultra fast attack and infinite ratio. The initial transients or the initial front end crack of the drum hits in our loop are overly spiky and prominent in our mix. So let's add an instance of the plugin over beatloop.wav's channel. Barricade CM initially reduces incoming peaks depending upon the level of the input signal, which can be increased via the input gain dial. So raise this up to plus 4.2 dB to slightly push our signal into the limiting stage of the plugin. By observing the limiter gain meters, we can see that the snare of our beat loop is triggering around 1.8 dB of gain reduction. And hitting the monitor button allows us to bypass the input gain's effect. The output ceiling control sets the plugin's maximum output value, displayed on the output level meters on the plugin's right. And this also applies gain reduction to the signal. So pull this parameter down slowly to minus seven dB and observe the limiter gain meters. We now have minus 8.8 .8 dB of gain reduction. Our Beats door channel was originally peaking at around minus 2.5 dB. And it's now at minus 7 dB. So we've created 4.5 dB of extra headroom. Now open a fresh barricade CM over keys.wav and then set an input gain of plus 4.2 dB. And an out ceiling of minus 10.3 dB, approximately. The plugin houses two limiting stages, a traditional compression style limiter, then a dedicated peak limiter to catch any peaks over the out ceiling. And this peak limiter has a fixed look ahead time of 1.5 milliseconds. The attack and release control the first stage 
the compression style limiter. So we'll set them to minimum zero seconds to chop off our initial peaks and then immediately pull the sustain back up for a slightly creative effect. Now drop another plugin instance over panningsynth.wav's channel. And set an input gain of plus 12 dB. and an outseeding of minus 10.2 dB. Pull Barricade CM's Stereo Link Slider fully left to 0% and notice how our stereo panning effect is reduced on our channel. This is because the plugin is heavily limiting the left and right channels separately. Now push the slider fully right to 100% and notice how our stereo image now returns as the limiter's left and right actions are linked. Now Barricade CM is a mastering grade limiter. So it's transparent enough to control peaks over a final mix. So we'll fire up a fresh instance over our master channel. We'll bring the input gain up to plus 4.6 dB. And then we'll set the attack to 0.133 seconds to give us some fairly transparent overall limiting without overcooking or squashing our track. The limiter gain meter shows us that 3 to 4 dB of gain reduction is being applied to our track. The peak hold value is the horizontal yellow line that remains and shows us the highest peak level we've attenuated. Here it's around 5 to 6 dB. And you can reset meters by hitting the meter reset button. Or by clicking on each left and right meter to reset each respective side independently. So look out for more in-depth use of Barricade CM in future computer music tutorials.